Hi everyone, hope you're keeping well. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you could use my custom design 3D printed adapter to attach any 49mm filter to the Insta 361R 1 inch Leica mod. So I designed this myself and after a few design iterations, I've come up with this design. And as you can see on the watermark, this video is shot on the 1 inch mod using the custom adapter and I've got the Hoya Plus 4 close-up filter or diopter attached. Um, the distance between this and um, the lens is only about 40-50 centimeter. So right now what you're seeing is at the ultra-wide setting. Um, so I don't think, well there's no visible barrel distortion, that not distortion, barrel shadow that I can see. There, there is definitely barrel distortion. You can see on the edges, um, it, it's soft because of the plus four diopter so there are a few um, design iterations right now you could see th this is the initial design where everything is simple just so that i could fit the filter in once i've nailed down the the, the size of the thread for both the 49 mil filter and the camera itself i've i've decided to refine them so um you could probably see here that the initial design is flat, so when there is a filter attached, it's quite um, slippery. So I've designed to have some sort of a indentation here so that when you could attach them, you can hold them and screw them. This is a simple 3D printed case as well, which I've um, resized them to fit. So you can see that over here, I've got a variable ND filter attach the filter because it's variable ND itself is it's very thick um, so I've I need to design this adapter to be as thin as possible um, and I've printed a couple so that I don't have to keep swapping them because this is 3d printed so it's very easy to cross thread so I've tightened it quite quite tightly so yeah, but once, you know, it's easily removable, but for fitting, there is like a, a, a neck to it. So you just have to, you know, um, keep doing it. But once it's in, it's in, see? So like I said, this is the variable ND. You can see the how it works in terms of, you know, the change in the strength of the variable ND. Um, just for comparison, this cap is 3D printed as well. Just for comparison, this is the size difference between the original existing um, lens protector and the variable ND. The filter itself is actually very, very thick but the adapter is very thin. Another benefit of having this um, adapter is that in the unlikely scenario that you accidentally damage or scratch this, um, you could use this and get like a 49 mil UV protector, which will be thinner than this. And that you can attach to the one inch more and that will serve as a protector. Um, the reason why I designed this is because I intend to use this one hour for um, time lapses. So um, for time lapses, we want to be able to control the shutter speed where, whereby we want to create movement in terms of, you know, for example, water or drag the shutter basically. And with a variable ND attached, um, I could control the shutter speed. I'm not sure what to do with this adapter. Um, you know, you guys can let me know. Would you guys be interested in perhaps, you know, buying it? It's not difficult print, but I did use like a weekend to come up with the design and a few tries to nail this design. But bear in mind, this is 3D printed. So, you know, it, it's not, it's not commercial product. They will have some, um, cosmetic issues. Hope you find this useful. Don't forget to like and subscribe.
for more videos like this.